Hello, and this is the Nash Indulgence High Back Chair Review. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward design. You have these uh, tension knobs on the side to help you uh, lock down the back position once you got it set to where you want it. These chairs uh, legs fold out, and they have the mud feet, which are useful uh, for uh, when you've got soft ground. And uh, you got to be careful, make sure you lock the back feet in properly. There's a safety pin that's got to get inside a hole, and if it doesn't, uh, the chair can fold up on you. Once you've got that uh, safety pin locked in, set the thing upright, and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty decent chair. It pretty, stays pretty high off the ground for a, for a camping chair. I'm a big guy, about six foot four inches, so oh, it feels like about a normal uh, office chair with the uh, feet um, not extended at all. But the trigger lock system right there, uh, which Nash designs, allows you to do a one-handed uh, extension of the feet. And the feet on this thing really do go up quite a bit. And as you can see, uh, they work pretty decent most of the time. And uh, fully extended, this becomes a pretty formidable chair. Once again, I'm six foot four inches, and this is one of the few times I've ever been able to swing my feet around and uh, a couple turns at the knob that thing reclines back pretty good it's pretty good upholstery as you can see soft warm comfortable um, and the upholstery detaches with velcro for cleaning if need be bring it back up tighten it up and uh, now I bought this chair because I wanted a really super comfortable chair while I'm fishing and I wanted that thing to recline all the way back. I, you know, I figured I would be doing a lot of sleeping in this thing. So if you drop the back legs on it, leave the front legs fully extended, and uh, you get in that thing, as you can see, it, it reclines pretty darn close to flat, and it's uh, very easy to fall asleep in. The whole thing folds up real tightly, uh, and uh, the only problem is this trigger lock system. Um, you can see here in one of these takes, it doesn't always work 100%. And one of the legs of mine, it, uh, it catches and I got to pull it down. And in this take, you see it was kind of making a weird metal on metal noise. And I actually uh, dropped a metal shaving there on the ground. And the other issue is this pin. If you don't get it in, this happens to you. So just be real careful, make sure the safety pin gets in and uh, it's, a, it's a really comfortable chair. At any rate, it, uh, thanks for watching.